We've made all the school supplies. Now Barbie needs a school. Today, we're going to show you how to make a miniature desk, lockers, a chalkboard, and so much more. The bell is ringing. School is in session. School desk and chair. Barbie needs a desk and chair for her classwork. So cut out a few pieces of foam board like these. Measure and cut out some adhesive contact paper to give it that wood look. Cut some large popsicle sticks in half and set everything out. Paint the sticks with silver nail polish. Then, glue the sticks to the bottom side of your desktop. Glue in some thin popsicle sticks to make the legs of the desk. Next, make the chair with the other pieces of foam board and a couple more painted popsicle sticks. Wrap some black tape around the bottoms of the legs to make it look more authentic. Now Barbie is ready to slay some numbers in her calculus class. Lockers. If you've got a few old toothpaste boxes, we'll show you how to make lockers for Barbie and her classmates. First, cut along the corner of the box and cut off the top flap. Now glue the boxes together to make lockers. Make sure the boxes all open out in the same direction. Now, for a little color, glue some blue construction paper to the lockers with a glue stick. Cut the paper so the locker doors can open. Use a ruler to cut a straight line. Mom or dad can help you with the sharp stuff. Draw some lines at the top and bottom of the lockers with a fine tip marker. This mirror paper should work great for handles. Use a hole punch to get three circles and glue them onto the doors as combination locks. Bend the paper to form the handle and glue in place. Number the lockers so Barbie knows which one's hers. Hey girl, just grabbing some books from my locker. You can even add shelves with your sturdy blue construction paper. Just cut and fold to fit and glue them inside the locker. Looks like these students have everything they need for a successful school day. Board. Get your hands on some adhesive chalkboard paper and stick it to a piece of corkboard. Write the lesson of the day on your chalkboard and hang it up in Barbie's classroom. School is totally cool. Now who's hungry? Let's grab some lunch. First, print a pattern like this one from your computer and cut it out. Cut slits of the lines and glue your little milk or juice box together. Cute, right? Next, clean out an old makeup compact. Pop the lid off so it looks like a lunch tray. Time to make some food out of this plasticine material. Cut a few pieces off and roll them up between your fingers. Flatten these little guys out. And roll out a long skinny piece of black plasticine. Cut tiny chocolate chips for your cookies and put them on. Place these treats on Barbie's lunch tray. Then roll out an orange piece of plasticine. Add a green stem and poke a bunch of little holes in it to get the same texture as an orange. After that, roll a bunch of tiny pieces of the orange material and add to Barbie's tray. You should never play with pills or pill cases. So ask your parents if they have any empty bubble packs from their medications. Pull the foil off and use it as a ketchup container. Squirt a tiny bit of ketchup in. Make utensils with aluminum foil. Lunch is ready. 
canteen. Let's make a common area for Barbie and her friends to eat lunch in. First, glue a couple of plastic rulers together, like this. Measure about 10 centimeters on a balloon stick and cut it at the marks. Actually, cut two. Now, place the sticks into those plastic balloon holders, like this. Glue the sticks to the bottom of the rulers to make a table. Now, grab another holder and cut a small balloon stick to fit. Trace out the circle onto several different colored pieces of foam sheet. Glue the colored circles to the white circles. Then, glue the stands to the white circles. Now you've got some stools for Barbie and her friends to sit on while they eat. Hey Barbie, are you going to eat that? What did you guys get on the pop quiz? School uniform. Find a piece of fabric with a fun pattern, like this one. Cut it out in this shape and fold it over. Measure and mark it to Barbie's body. Then trace out the sleeves and bottom of the shirt. Sew the sides together. Make another shirt using the same steps. Cut the shirt up the middle and cut along the top to make room for her neck. Do the same with both shirts, then turn them right side out. Ask your parents to help you iron creases in the sleeves. Time to make the skirts. Cut a strip of fabric or elastic and lay flat. Then, glue a larger piece of fabric to the strip folding every quarter inch to make pleats. Cut a piece of Velcro and glue to the seam of the skirt so Barbie can fasten it. Do this with both fabrics, making two uniforms. Let's get ready for school, ladies. Congrats! You are an official uniform designer. Aren't they adorable? Cheerleader! Let's make a cheerleader uniform for Barbie so she can cheer with the squad. First, cut out a donut shape from a piece of white fabric. Grab some red stretchy elastic and measure it to Barbie's waist. Cut the elastic to fit. Cut one side of the donut and sew on the red elastic. Gather the fabric with your thread to make the skirt. Then, glue the gathered fabric to the elastic band. Glue the seam together, and now Barbie's cheer skirt is ready for action. Make Barbie's cheer top with a piece of red fabric. Fold it and cut to fit Barbie's torso. Sew the seams together. Then, add some black straps to the shoulders. Glue two pieces of white ribbon to the front of the uniform. Add two thin strips of black fabric for extra detail. Then, write her uniform number on the chest. Ready to make the pom-poms? Wrap some string around a fork, like this. Snip and tie the end pieces around the middle to gather all the string. Pull it off the fork and cut the string at the loops. Fan them out and you've got some sparkling pom-poms for Barbie to shake at the homecoming game. Go Wildcats! Table lamp, shine a light on Barbie's homework. All you need is a plastic egg and a dowel. Clip a few pieces of the dowel with wire cutters. Glue a piece of the dowel to the end of the egg. Then glue the other two pieces together. Glue them to the base and add the last piece to the top. 
glue a plastic googly eye to the end, like this. Paint the base of your lamp. Then, on a piece of glitter paper, trace and cut out the lampshade. Glue it together and connect it to your lamp. Let's make those lamp joints sparkle. Hey Barbie, what an elegant reading lamp! Glue gun. Barbie likes to get crafty just like us, so let's make her a glue gun. Form the gun with a piece of blue polymer clay and cut out a small section for the glue stick. The base of the Q-tip works perfectly as a glue stick. Carefully poke a hole through the back of the glue gun and insert the stick. Next, add a pen to the front, using tweezers to push it into the clay. Add a small piece of darker blue clay as the trigger, and push in a few details, like this. Now Barbie can craft it up. Shirt. Can you believe this t-shirt is made out of toilet paper? Here's how we did it. First, get two squares of toilet paper. Wrap one square around Barbie's chest. Wrap the other square around her back. Trace and cut to fit. Then glue the seams together with a glue stick. Next, mark the center of the shirt. Take it off Barbie, lay flat, and draw on some cute buttons. Back on it goes, and glue the other seam. Cut the areas around the arms. Be careful! Cut on either side of the neck and fold down on the shoulders. Next, let's make some sleeves. Cut two small sections, fold over, and glue. Snip out sections for under her arms. Slip the sleeves on and glue them into the shoulders of the shirt. That's it! This is a pretty awesome shirt, considering it came from toilet paper, right? Beret. Want your Barbie to have her own red beret? Check it out! You know those Beauty Blender sponges from the drugstore? Well, get yourself a red one. Have mom or dad help you cut the sponge in half with an X-Acto knife. Use scissors to trim it down to beret size. You'll need to cut out a spot for Barbie's head, too. So far, so good. Now, have your parents hot glue a red bead on top. And voila! A stylish red beret for Barbie. Supplies. Let's hook Barbie up with some school supplies, shall we? First, roll a white piece and pink piece of polymer clay. Then, put them together. You might need a little help cutting the clay into tiny pieces, like you see here. Then, roll the clay together to create this soft pink color. Roll it around a piece of wire. Then cut off the clay at one end. Add a small piece of brown clay to make the end of a pencil. Next, flatten a piece of white clay. Give it two ears and a pink bow. Paint a little face with black dots and attach it to the end of the pencil. Now let's make her pen. Roll some white clay around a piece of wire and add a tiny gray piece at the tip. Roll a brown piece of clay and pierce the center to make a donut shape. Cover the top with a layer of pink clay. Add some sprinkles and attach to the end of the pen. Give it this cute little gray clip on the side. And now, Barbie's got the cutest pen ever. Time to do your English homework, Barbie. How about a calculator? Flatten a piece of pink polymer clay and cut it into a rectangle shape. Cut a tiny rectangle from your glitter paper and add it to the top as the window. For the buttons, flatten and cut a piece of hot clay. Cut in a grid shape, like this. Then, carefully apply the buttons to the calculator. 
Now Barbie can do her math homework too. Paper clips. All you have to do for this hack is use pliers to twist a piece of wire into the shape of a tiny paper clip. That's really all there is to it. And it actually works. Map. Help Barbie learn geography with this map of the world. First, print out a small map and cut it out. Glue it to a piece of cardboard and give it a sparkly border with glitter paper. Next, glue two jewelry beads together to make a pointer. Clip the end off a toothpick and glue it to the beads. Now Barbie can point out all the places where she wants to travel. Cheerleader pom-poms. Use a bowl and a small cup to trace two circles on a piece of cardboard. Cut out the shape and repeat with a second donut shape. Put the two pieces together. Next, wrap some yarn around your cardboard donut. Keep going until you've made it all the way around. Then, cut the yarn at the outside border of the donut. Now wrap a large string of yarn in between the cardboard pieces and around the center of the yarn pieces. Tie and pull tight. To gather the yarn into a pom-pom shape, tie the yarn in a knot and trim. Follow the same steps to make a second pom-pom and enjoy! Go team! Organizer. Help Barbie organize all her school supplies with this DIY organizer. First, use a ruler to measure and draw out the organizer dimensions onto a piece of shiny paper. Draw this pattern onto the back of the paper and cut it out. Fold at the lines. And glue the flaps together. Tape around the border with decorative tape. All that's left is to add Barbie's homework. Nice job! Ant Farm. <laughs> Let's do it! First, cut out these pieces of clear plastic and attach adhesive paper similar to this onto the plastic. Cut out some ant trails with an X-Acto knife. Then pull away the extra paper and paint it with Mod Podge. Sprinkle on some breadcrumbs and pat down with a cotton ball. Now, peel the paper trails you made off of the plastic. When you're done, it should look like this. Roll some teeny black pieces of polymer clay for the ants. Glue a black border to the other piece of plastic. Then, stick the top layer of plastic over your ant farm. We think Barbie's science project is going to get an A+. After passing all her classes, Barbie is finally ready to graduate. Let's make her a cap and diploma. First, cut out a strip of black felt and measure it to Barbie's head. Glue it to fit. Then, cut out a black square, cut a yellow string, and add a little bead. Fray the ends to make a tassel and glue it to the center of your square. Press a piece of black clay over the glue spot. Now glue the square to the cap. For the diploma, cut out a small piece of paper. Roll it up and tie a string around it. Congrats, graduates! Now go make your dreams come true. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later!